This is a catchy music. Hey there guys, this is me singer 313 here with a brand new Let's Play of the Rare Replay. That almost rhymed if play was in on the same word as play. But anyway, so yeah, this is a Rare Replay, a collection of 30 different Rareware games. Um, all throughout the Atari, NES, SNES, and 64 and Xbox eras. Um, so yeah, let's just start um, going to the game immediately. And... Seems like it's all organized by release. I could always organize it by ABC, but we're gonna do it from its release date, so... Jetpack. That's the first game that we're gonna be trying out, so I'm guessing this is like a very old game. Does it say like a specific year? Released in 1983. Arcade shooter. One to two players, one controller. Um, get help. Oh, does it actually go into like the virtual, uh, the uh, e-manual or something? I don't need that. I'll figure things out for myself. Oh shit, how do I... How do I get the e-manual out? Um... How do I uh, get rid of the e-manual? Uh... Get out of here. No, get out of here. I don't... Game manuals, get out. Welcome to... How do I get... There we go. Let's start playing Jetpack. Some games will auto-save your progress as you play, and you'll be able to load and create save games, game saves from the menu pane at any time. The game, next time you play, you'll be given an option to load one of your game saves or start refresh. Alright, so... Okay, cool. Oh! Already got an achievement. Awesome. Join the Jets. Is this gonna happen for every single game? I get an achievement just to start the damn thing? Alright, uh, fuck, what are the controls? Also, who am I? Oh, okay. A is shoot. Up is jump. Oh, this is gonna be really confusing. Okay. Seems like it's only one button because both A and B shoot. Oh shit. Alright, so what exactly do I do? Do I, uh. Oh shit. Do I put this thing here? Oh, okay. I'm guessing that's it. I'm guessing it's also one of those, like, one hit and you're dead kind of games. I can shoot these things, so that's good. It's like, oh my god, this thing is so fucking slippery. I'm using the control stick. Let me see if the D-pad's any better. I feel like it's a lot more better because it's more digital and that's what all old school games are like, but I'm always used to um playing this game with the control stick. Even with any old school games. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay. Uh, fuel. All right. I'll get some fuel. What's that? Should I risk getting that orange? Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Should I? I was supposed to say orange, but that's actually like a glowing. Okay, so, okay I'm using the D-pad. Control stick's really weird when I'm playing it. Oh, fuck. It's... Okay, so you get to, it's kind of like balloon style where you, if you go to the right side, you appear on the left side. Uh, we're gaining fuel. Oh, I, I see like purple stuff um, on the ground. I'm guessing if I put things here, then uh, the purple stuff's gonna rise. Yeah, it does. Oh shit, we're gonna have to collect how many of these things while avoiding any of the all of these fucking enemies. Ooh, more treasures that I kind of want to see. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Is that it? How many lives do I have exactly? Does it say how many lives I have? Fuck. <laughs> Game over! Uh, so was this like an uh, Atari game, or was this part of the arcades? I want to get past at least one level before I do I'm done. <laughs> oh, it seems to all do it automatically. I don't have to go all the way down. Alright. So, first things first, I had to, um, yeah. Uh, equip all the, um... Same thing goes for the fuel, too. I don't need to I could just plop it down onto the ground, and it'll automatically fuel myself. Or the rocket ship that I'm building. Alright, so far so good. I think it's be perfect. You know, I will say I probably should have uh, played this game with the Xbox One controller because I was complaining about how the Xbox 360 version, sorry, not version, um, how the Xbox 360 controller is not compatible with this game. But I do like the D-pad a whole lot more compared to the 360 D-pad. So I guess that's a plus side. I am kind of playing this with the D-pad right now, so I'm pretty sure I, if I could get used to, I'll play this game perfectly fine with the control stick, but. Jumping by going up, I'm not used to that unless it's a fighting game. With the exception of Smash, of course. Uh, what now? Alright. So, um... Is that level completed? Am I done? Or just go to the space stage and what? It's like the same area. It's just like a fun trip. Do I have to rebuild my... I need more fuel, okay, so I'm guessing... Where exactly am I getting all these fuel anyways? Ah, crap! Alright. Alright. 
So, it's a pretty simplistic game. Fuck. Oh, I got the fuel down. That's good. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, uh, avoiding enemies are fucking tough. Uh, it's the way the, the game's controlled, and I know it's usually... Oh, god damn it. But, it's the momentum, and I'm surprised I have actual four lives instead of the usual three, maybe. So, yeah, when the enemies appear on the left side, they also appear on the right side as well. So it's the same rule applies to both you and the enemy. Ooh, are there like three enemies left? What happens if I kill all of you guys? New enemies appear, it seems like. Okay, gotta be careful then. I got a gold block. I'm pretty sure that's nothing but for points. Who needs points in a fucking video game? Alright, finished level two, but only one man left. <laughs> Alright, the next time I die, I'm gonna switch you to the next game. Good god, can this spaceship go any more slower? I wonder why it needs a lot more fuel. Control ship is ass. Alright, so this is a fun old school game. I can imagine playing the shit out of this game! Oh my god, now I'm being attacked by balls? I got killed. By balls. Alright, so that's it for that game. How do I get the hell out of here? Um. What? What? I pressed left trigger. What the hell does that do? Seems like that sends me back to the title screen, but... Eh. Okay. Whoa! Oh, so it's kind of like an arcade stick if, uh, the arcade machines if I press the right stick button. Um, oh, I paused. Hold for menu pain. Oh, here we go. Alright. Are you sure you want to exit the game? Your progress will be honestly sure, why not? Oh, it's not like I made much progress anyways. I'm pretty sure like as soon as I'm done with one game. I'm sorry, I'm I'm done with one level, I'm gonna die immediately on the next level anyways. You've been a warrior with a stamp! Your ticket will be stamped automatically whenever you reach an in-game milestone. Complete snapshots or finish playlists. Keep earning stamps to unlock player titles and a new Rare revealed content. Okay. I got a stampy thing. There's also milestones. Oh, that's a select button. Play the game for the first time. <laughs> so there is an achievement for that. I'm guessing these are the milestone achievements. Add 250 pots to your fuel, destroy over 15 enemies over time, rack up that many points. Blast off from every single level over time. I'm guessing that's all the achievements I can get for this game, specifically. Alright, what's the next game? I'm pretty sure we're still in the Atari days, or the arcade days. Lunar Jetman. This looks like the same thing as that other guy. Let's play this game. I do like the, uh, backdrop of what, um... Is this gonna happen every time I play a fucking game? Thanks. Alright, is this gonna have the same controls as, um... Yeah, it seems like it does. It's the same game, basically, except... You now I get to move things? What's the objective, exactly? Truck is on the right side. Oh, shit, I have fuel this time, so... Ow. <laughs> Can I shoot downward? Nope, I can't. Ow. <laughs> Alien? What's my objective here? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting these... Well, if I keep dying a lot, of course I'm not being able to do such a thing. I'm exactly my keeping track of score with this. What's this time machine thing? It doesn't protect me, that's for damn sure. Alright, this is my last life, I think. And I just wasted it there. Game over! Hold on. Say anything? Options, save, exit. Maybe it's in the um, title screen. Or it says what the objectives is. Oh, thanks game! <laughs> thanks for the fucking stamp. Seek out and destroy missile. Oh, do I really have to check the fucking manual? You know, what else? Can I just check the manual in the game? The box cover that sends it in? Oh wait, you don't because you're fucking lazy bastards who won't accept manuals anymore. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright. Game manuals. That's... No, not legal support. Fuck. There we go. I'm noticing a little bit of an odd lag here. Like, it's like a... Half or 75.75 seconds of delay for some reason. Story, how to play. Control Jetman, he, as he seeks out 
missiles, blah blah blah, landscapes and destroy them with explosives. All while keeping hostile forces at bay, the alien world is vast, dangerous, support your gem man, and you can save us in the movies and that. In a two player game. God, this is like the most boring text ever. Usually with game manuals, it has some sort of like interesting looking, like kind of like art design, or even like the font thing looks like really cool. This one is just plain old aerial text. Uh, shoot alien, got it. I don't, I don't care. Let's skip this game. <laughs> so that was Lunar Man, whatever. <laughs> yeah, old game. I, I really don't care. Uh, how do I? Oh, get to the option in Snapchat. Nah. Next game. Is it gonna be the same sequel or is it gonna be a completely different one? Attic Attack. Maze Adventure. One player. Recover the pieces of the golden key and escape the haunted castle. Alright. Straightforward. I'll do that. And achievement in 3, 2, 1. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Knight, Wizard, or surf. I don't know what that is. I'll, pl I'll play as a knight. Alright, how many uh, buttons do I have? Oh, 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 okay. A throws my axe. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay. This thing also doesn't have like analog controls. Uh, kind of reminds me of Legend of Zelda. The way it's uh, an up-down perspective. Uh, so I had to find a golden key and escape the haunted mansion. Oh, shit! I'm d uh... Did I die or am I falling down? Okay, I'm falling down to a different area. So, it's very much of an explorer type of game. Oh crap. Seems to emulate um, what the original game ha uh, does as well because I'm so I'm noticing that uh, the leotard is um, glowing red and yellow when um, the green and red things are. Oh, not yellow, fuck. Green and red because, like, whenever, like, even my character when I'm moving red, it, uh,. Does like an afterglow, so it seems like it emulates whatever is going on to the uh, ooh, thing as well. How the fuck do I get out of here? Am I trapped here forever? Oh, the doors are open. All right, I got Sunday. Unless I'm assuming it's a Sunday. This is I'm guessing stairwells. Let me kill the devil. I'm assuming that's the devil. It's awfully purple-looking devil. Uh, am I even doing any damage to him? I can't tell. Do I have like a life bar or something? I can't. I really can't tell if I. Oh! Maybe that chicken wing is my life bar. Ooh, let's go down here. And down here again. What does the mushroom do? Mushroom poisoned me! What was I thinking? The mushroom. I thought mushrooms would heal me or something. Super Mario Bros. This ain't. Uh. Alright. Looks like I need a key of some sort, I'm guessing. Oh fuck, I'm trapped here! Kill the witch. Kill the bitch. Kill the green stuff. And kill the bats. And the octopus- octopuses? What the fuck are you doing here? Alright, get the fuck out of here! Um... I haven't been to this room yet. I can't tell what the items I'm getting are helping me or not. Like, if they're like items or power-ups or something, or if they actually hurt me. There seems to be nothing else here, so I'll get out of here. I'll wait for the door down here. Oh shit, more poisonous mushrooms. I can apparently go into clock towers. Uh, okay. What's down here? More stairs. I'm going upstairs this time. More upstairs. Alright. What's this place? This seems to be like a more cryptic Legend of Zelda type of game. God, I'm not used to any of these old school games whatsoever. So I can see a reason why um they included these games. It's so easy to program. Okay, and, and honest to god, does anyone actually enjoy these games? I'm not much of an old school gamer, which is why I'm probably not too much enthusiastic about these types of games. So I'm not sure. But then again, like, other people could really enjoy these types of games. I don't know. I do sense, like, a Legend of Zelda vibe from what I'm seeing because of the overhead view. Although, I don't think Link throws his sword as a projectile. As a weapon. But yeah, that's, uh... Ooh, crap. I'm pretty sure if you're into that type of genre... It seems like a fun game to try out. Also, I'm about to die. Alright. Ooh. God, I hate using the D-pad for everything. It kind of hurts my hand. Or my thumb. Got a wrench. Not sure exactly what that does. I got multiple areas. Oh my god. Poison. Is that poisonous or not? I can't tell. Oh my god, I'm trapped here. 
Fuck, fuck, fuck. How many lives do I have? Two? I'm guessing I have two lives left. Does that, did that leopard kill me or was there an enemy that I didn't see? Ugh, I can't tell. What about this room? More poisonous restrooms. More roads up ahead of me. Ooh, a key! Okay, I got a key now. Or, did I collect the key? I can't tell. I'm not sure anymore. Come on. Open. There we go. More things. Is there enemies? Yes, but I could escape them one time. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Golden key. Where's the fuck's the golden key, though? Is this, is this place, if this place is like randomly generated, that'd be pretty fucking awesome, actually. It's kind of like a Minecraft-esque type of Legend of Zelda game. 1884. All right, so this room is definitely distinct. I got a golden apple. <laughs> God, I'm just thinking of Minecraft all of a sudden. Is this door gonna open? Yes. Ooh, that's scary. What's up here? What's up here? <laughs> okay, so this has been, uh, whatever the fuck this game was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have no words. I mean, I can't really analyze any of these old games because I'm not too familiar with them and I don't have enough imagination to really enjoy these games, honestly. I got a stamp, so that's something great. Attic Attack. That was Attic Attack. Should we take a break for here? Or what? Next game, we got Saber Wolf. Alright, I'm kind of interested in this one. But um, don't, I don't think it actually stars Saber Wolf from Killer Instinct. But whatever. We'll be right back with the next uh, part of Rare Replay. Stay tuned for the next game, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, though, let's be honest. Um, you guys have to wait a, a little while for the actual games that I'm looking forward to. So stay tuned for that.